Hello lovely people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sherry. It's good to have you all back again on this platform. Before I proceed into this video, I'd like to say a big thank you to each and every one of you who have supported this channel by subscribing to this channel and turning on the notification bell. Um, I really appreciate you all. I'm really grateful that you support this channel. Now we are at 2K subscribers. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you all. I'm really grateful. There is something which I want to discuss in today's video, which I think I'm actually reaching out to someone who has experienced such a thing before. And this thing which I'm about to say, I don't know if it has happened in your church or maybe it has happened to you, I don't know, or maybe um, it's happening in your church right now and nobody is talking about it. Maybe you have also experienced such. So actually this thing is supposed not to ever be mentioned in the congregation where we call the house of God. It should never have happened in the place where it's called the place of worship. Yes, it shouldn't have ever happened. But unfortunately it happens. But I don't know if it's still happening in your church or if it, or if you have also experienced such a thing. So that is why I decided to make this video today and decided to talk about this particular thing which should never have happened or which should never been mentioned among believers in Christ. Okay, first of all, I will urge you to please ensure to share this video to someone out there, to your friends and loved ones. Perhaps, who knows, maybe he or she have also gone through such and have really changed his own mind not to go to church again just because of such a thing. Or maybe um, it's about to happen to that person. So that is why you need to share this video how to someone out there. It could be useful for someone. If you be a person, who usually sit back at home during church services either on Sundays or during the weekly programs just because you do not have offering yes um, actually this video is for you uh, first of all I want you to remember what the Bible says that we should not forsake our gathering which is very important and you know that the house of God is a place so we are the children of God should always be happy to come to worship the Lord, to pray, you know, to listen to the word of God. It's not a place where the children of God or the members in the church will feel so reluctant to come in because they do not have money for offering or, or tithe or whatsoever. But what I'm saying is that I think the, the leaders of the churches need to talk about this mostly or to make the members know that even if they don't have offering, they shouldn't sit back at home, but they should rather come to the house of God to worship. There are many churches out there right now which are not the church of God. Yes, but they are just church of men. I think maybe because um, we have many false churches out there right now, especially those who establish their churches, their churches just because of their belly or because of the advantage they think they are going to get in having uh, large congregations, in having large members. Maybe that's the reason why some people invest their money on churches, whereas they are not called by God. And this is the reason why you see different doctrines in churches today, uh, which are not in line. Many of them are not in line with the word of God. And it is really happening, yes. And it is a pity that in churches today, poor people are seen as inferior to the rich ones and people no longer feel comfortable going to the house of God which is supposed not to be so those who are not sent by God they already go out there to establish many churches and which they always set up the church for their own belly they don't care if you if you are in Christ but what they care about is the money you bring to them every Sunday truly in the Bible in Malachi our Lord God Almighty makes it clear to us that it is important for us to bring tithe and offering into the house of God. So this issue has really gone so extreme, which makes many people eat tithe. Actually, to me, I think tithe and offering should be the help, the money that will be spent on the poor people in the church, on the people who are truly the man of God, who devoted themselves 
to be a permanent pastor, to be a permanent overseer, and we do not think of having any other job apart from, you know, preaching the gospel of the Lord. So I think that's what it should have been. But unfortunately, many who establish these churches for their bellies, you know, they are only after the, uh, the money for jets, for, for luxurious cars and all those things. And it's a pity that many of these false pastors do not care about the members, do not care about the word of God, do not care about what Christ told Peter in those days that he should feed his sheep. But unfortunately, these days, they are the ones feeding on the sheep of God. You should not be sitting back at some because you don't have offering because there are some certain day which God may send his angel to, you know, to deliver something special. Maybe what you have been asking him for long to you. Yes, for the Bible to say that we should not forsake our gatherings, it is very important. You shouldn't be sitting there back at home because you don't have offering. Yes, I didn't blame you anyway, but I think the pastors of every church in the world need to see to this issue because what God called you for is not for you to start buying jets and several things, no. But he called you to feed the sheep and to minister the word of God to them and not to chase them away. The reason why many people sit back at home is because when they go to church, their pastors, the reverends, and even the members of the church only recognize those who are rich, only recognize those who pay eye offering, tithes, and this and that. So which make them think that they cannot go empty-handed. And this thing is supposed not to be so in the house of God. So, um, you do not need to sit back at all because God knows your situation. In, and the Lord knows that if you have your brain to Him. So you should always feel bored and happy to come before the Lord, either you have or not. Even all the money you put taking to church is not the one spending it. But unfortunately, most of this money are not spent where they are supposed to be spent on. You know, there are many widows in the churches now today which are very poor. They do not get any support from the pastors. This actually happened to a lady. So she said she attended this church for the first time. And unfortunately, that day, she doesn't have um, any money with her. Hoping that it is the house of God, even if you are rich or poor, you are free to enter into the house of God to listen to the word of the Holy God. But unfortunately, when it was time for offering, she couldn't stand up to, you know, to lay her offering down because she doesn't have. But the worst part of it that happened to her is that she said when they ran off the offering, after everything, the pastor was to preach. And they called her out that, Madam, you did not drop your offering. And she was like, I don't have any money with me. And she was, you know, she was embarrassed that day. And she was told that at least she should check her pocket, she should check her bag. She was telling them that she doesn't have any money with her, but nobody listened. She was called out to dance so that even if you don't have offering then you have to do something. He started beating the drum asking her to dance. It is actually so despicable to be mentioned. So I don't know maybe you've experienced such and this is why you always sit back at home but at the time you're supposed to be at the presence of God. I want you to know today that you are not going to church to meet your pastors or to your friend or to whatever, but you are going there to listen to what God has sent them to tell you. You are going there to listen and to, to listen to the word of God, to listen to what God has put into his, the, the mouth of his servants to say to you. So even if you don't have offering or whatever, go to the house of God. Don't sit back at home because there are so many things that usually happens whenever you are in the presence of the Lord. So do don't always sit back at home because you don't have offering. This reminds me of a widow, which in Mark chapter 12. So let's read the Bible to see what the Lord Jesus Christ said about this poor widow. Yes, the Bible says here that, yes, it's uh, Mark chapter 12, verse 41. And Jesus sat opposite the treasury and beheld all the people cast money into the treasury, and many that were rich cast in much. And there came a certain poor widow, and she threw in two mites, which make a fathom. And he called to him his disciples, and says to them, Verily I say to you, that this poor widow has cast more in than all they which have cast into the treasury. For all they did cast in of the abundance, but she of her want did cast in all that she had, even all her living. Glory be to Christ in the highest. I will say that a certain widow who was very poor and Christ was watching them all. And this poor woman dropped the two mites, the only money that she had with her at that time because she, she was a poor widow. She doesn't even 
decided to sit back up to her, but rather she came into the house of God and she dropped the little two mites she hired into the treasury. So this Christ observed this and Christ was really happy with what that old woman, the widow did and he called his disciples and told them about this widow that you see this widow that dropped two mites into that treasury. She was the one who dropped the more in the treasury so what is christ saying christ doesn't look the way you look you may have enough in abundance you may drop it into the treasury you know some offering doesn't come from the heart but this widow doesn't even care about the rich people she knew that rich people have already dropped in the abundance into the treasury and she doesn't feel ashamed to drop at two mites into the treasury and Christ behold her and Christ saw a generosity I know the Lord Jesus Christ will not leave that widow yes unblessed I'm sure that he will definitely bless that widow for what she had done because the Lord observed what she had done and it really really touched the Lord and to the extent that it called his disciples to observe to to see what that widow did so what am I saying? You shouldn't be going to try to see if you're going to do a competition. The house of God is a place where you should be free for every individual, no matter your status. It's where everybody, poor and rich people, should be treated equally and not to look down on those who do not have. But a lot of things are happening in many churches today. When you heard about it, you will feel like stop going to church. But I'll tell you the truth, never stop going to church because of the mistake of one denomination. That's not going to be an excuse before the Lord. Seek for the place where they preach the true word of God and continue worshipping your Lord. But what am I saying? I think this word should definitely penetrate deep into the ears of the pastors, evangelists, general overseer who always hold the members captive or because they did not bring enough that they anticipated for them to bring. This should be a message to you that you should speak to your congregations or to your thousands of members that even if they do not have enough, they should not sit back at home at a time which they are supposed to be in the presence of God. They should always come, either they have, either they do not have. You know, the Lord searched the rings, He knows the heart, He knows everything. And there is nothing hidden in His sight. He knows when you have, He knows when you don't have. If you come before Him to the empty handed, He knows the reason why. You shouldn't be running away from church because you don't have offering. And people who do not have enough to render should not be looked at home and you shouldn't be treating those who do not have enough like a garbage in the place where you call the house of God where it's called the house of worship you shouldn't look down on them because they don't have but treat them good in a good way respect them you always look on all those who do not have enough in your church so that you can do what Christ is expecting you to do unto them I know you may not be able to feed everybody and many people have stopped going to church because of this situation because of the way they have been treated because of this of their status you know because the pastors or even the church members always disrespect them because they don't have especially because they don't have tithes and offering it shouldn't be so and i pray that the lord might will continue to guide us and lead us into all truth and we will not fall in this way and we will not you know we will not mislead anyone into pits in jesus name so thank you so much for watching and god bless you See